Hey everybody, okay, I went to Aldi and I got dun, 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 the cot. Okay, so I got the cot from Aldi. It was $24.99, okay. I did get the, um, let me show you before I get in here. I did get the, I'm at my storage. Um, so here's the cot, this was the box it was in. $24.99, it's called um, Advantage. Okay, it has a two-year warranty. It can wait, hold up to 200, oh, it's not adjusting, zoom, 264 pounds. And let me get the measurements. Oh, here we go. And here are the measurements. 264 pounds. It is 74.8 inches long, which is just a little too long for me. I wish it was 70 or or 72 or less uh, but I made it work it's just that there was one thing I wanted to one plastic drawer thing that I wanted to put in that I couldn't but it's fine it is 29.1 inches wide which again was a little wide for me I was hoping it would be about 25 26 wide it's a tight fit but it's in there and then it's 16.9 inches high which, of course, I was hoping it would be like 15 inches higher, a little less. But that's fine. It works. I'm, I'm making it work. Um, here is the cooler. Same brand. And maybe this is Aldi's brand. I don't know. But Adventurage. I did not open this um, yet. It says here, Iceless Electric Cooler. It's a 12 volt. And the reason I didn't open it is because I'm not using it. And I'm going to keep it in storage. There's no need in me opening it up and... Um, doing anything with it. I'm leaving it in the plastic. I'm going to shove it somewhere in storage, probably right on top here. I don't have room in the minivan and I'm not going to use my um, 12 volt plug and wear out my starter battery for a um, cooler. I've gone without one this long. I'll be okay until I get the bigger cargo van. But for 50 bucks, I wanted to go ahead and get the um, the cooler that just that didn't make sense to not get it for 50 bucks and at some point when I have a separate battery with solar to charge that battery I will attach a 12 volt plug to the battery and use the um, cooler there just to keep like lunch meat and cheese I won't be keeping anything more than that probably now of course it is a little bit dark and I am one of those people that hate people that shoot videos in the dark but I wanted to show you this and I know tomorrow's going to be busy the next few days are going to be busy because it's my birthday and a couple people want to take me one to dinner one to breakfast so anyway I don't know when I'm going to shoot this so I decided to shoot now so I switched out uh, back to the black plastic drawer um, because okay this is random stuff I haven't put away yet that I have to figure out where it goes and I switched back from that to the um, from the to this from the open white drawer thing I had because the cot because of the length of the cot um, I put <laughs> I'll show you what that is I it's hard to get through and the white drawers ended like right here and I'm one of the people that get from front to back via the inside I don't get out and walk around at all so that's why I needed the space so I had to go back to the plastic drawers which is fine it's fine the white ones did give me a little more room but it's fine now here's the cot it has metal legs which crisscross each other like an X and there's three sets of legs one on each end and then one in the middle um, I put this Dollar Tree or actually it's a Walmart 97 cent pool noodle I just cut a slit on one side and covered up this edge because there's a piece here that sticks out from the metal and I kept bumping myself and I know I'm gonna have a bruise so I cut the pool needle noodle on one side just cut a slit on one side all the way down it and you clip it and then I um, zip tied it to the um, the pieces that were showing here I don't know if you can see this hold on Oof. horrible video sorry guys there and I zip tied it like that because that piece of metal is I'm just gonna have a busted up knee and shin and I already know that and so I didn't even want to start with it I hit it twice and I was like okay that's enough for me all right so I did the only thing I bought besides the um, 12 volt refrigerator and the cot was I also bought this from Walmart this was not at Aldi this was at Walmart um, if you follow me on Facebook or in or are on any of my groups on Facebook let me turn one of these 
um, LED lights on, see if that helps any. I'll take it off. And it's a small little one. There. If you follow me on Facebook or are in any of my groups on Facebook that I'm in, you know I've had an issue with damp dampness, moisture. Reason being, it's been raining here for almost three weeks on and off. So, I'm not one of those people that likes drawers. Um, I liked having all my clothes hanging up across the bar, but that's not going to work for me um, for right now. So, I went ahead and got this. This is one, two, three big drawers and two small drawers. It's all one unit. I want to say I paid 30 for this, maybe 35 something like that. Because I bought a couple other things and I can't remember. If I find the receipt, I will let you know. So under the cot, which I'm glad, it being 16.9 inches gave me plenty of room for stuff. So I got my tool bag back there. The green bag has my files. I got rid of the file box because it just didn't allow for give. So I've got tools back there in the corner with bungees and zip ties. The green bag has my files. Um, the white thing there that used to stretch across the back that had all my um, car fluids and jumper cables and stuff. I just, it, because it was a shoe organizer and it was cloth, I just folded it in half and shoved it in the corner. This is my um, big water jug, um, a drink that I usually take pills with at night, and then my trash can. Yes, I need to empty my trash. There's another water jug in the back. I always keep a one gallon jug with me at all times. And because I'm not uh, boondocking way away from anywhere, that's all I need to carry. I don't need to carry gallons and gallons. There's another pool noodle because I bought two. They were 97 cents. And I didn't know how sturdy they'd be if they'd split. So the con also comes with this pocket attached now it's completely attached it does not come off so if I wanted it off I'd have to actually cut it off it's not a zipper on zipper off which is what I thought it was when I looked at the picture on the um, ad it's not it's uh, um, completely attached so I put my Bible in here and some trash bags so let me take those out so I can flip it up and show you what else I have under okay so what else is under this this um Sorry guys. Here we go. Oh, I really should have shot this video tomorrow morning. Anyway, sorry if you got dizzy there. This three drawer thing I got at the thrift shop for $2.99. Uh, that jug is my pee jug. And here's another little crate that has my propane stove and the cooktop for cooking on. I do plan on getting one of those one burner cooktops because um, I don't like the kind of cooktop that, that sits on top of the propane. I don't like that, but it was cheap on Craigslist, so I got it. And these are two bins that I got from Walmart. They stack. They fit perfectly under here. One has all of my cooking um, utensils, a pot, a pan. Um, it's got a bowl for eating out of, etc, etc. And the other one is just some miscellaneous stuff. Now, as far as food goes, all my food I put back in here. And you know me, I don't carry a lot of food. I carry um, emergency supplies, which is the canned goods and stuff. That's the stuff I only eat like in an emergency. I'm completely out of money, but I need to eat type situation. And then I carry plenty of oatmeal. And I like craisins in my oatmeal. So I carry plenty of oatmeal. These are also emergency rations. There's some rice. There's some pasta. Just stuff you can add water to and go. And feed yourself. Okay. This is a Dollar Tree cooler. Styrofoam cooler that I use to carry my fruits. And I just throw them in there. There's a bag of apples. There's some bananas. At one point there were um, blackberries in there. And some other things. Um, but that was a few days ago. Now. This made for a perfect little cubby. Oh gosh, I got you guys upside down. Sorry. This made for a perfect cubby, and you can't see it because it's so freaking dark, for my heater, my Mr. Heater that a van dwelling friend gave me. Let me pull it out. We'll put the food over there. And, oof, there we go. My Mr. Heater. There he is. This has been a lifesaver in this damp weather we've been having. Oh, it has been. And now I'll have actually have some room to um, 
to use it without it being so, 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 so super close to me. Okay. And now, <clears throat> oh, I did get a damp rid. Ugh, I had to move it out the way. I did get a damp rid. I got the big one. This is the one that's that you put in your basement. I'm probably going to bungee cord it to the bottom um, right there. Yeah, that's the one that you put in a, like in a basement or something. So I was hoping that that would help a lot. And I was able to keep my chair here. And I can keep it sit it up, sat, I mean sat up like this. Or I can collapse it down and then just shove it. And there's a space under the bed there where it could go. It sticks out just a teeny bit, but not so much. So that's the new setup for now. I'm going to go to the front so you can see it in one swoop. Let me put the book back. Oh, Lord. Okay. Hopefully you can see this. I'm going to come to the very, very front seat here. I can move my stuff and let you see the complete setup here. Okay? So it does allow for ample room. And like I said, the chair's already sat up, so I have all that space there for cooking or getting dressed or whatever. So just slide the chair. And that, um, this bag under here, that's my new um, laundry bag. And I got, when I was at Aldi, that was $6.99. It's a really cool backpack. They had duffels and backpack, and it's like made of a nylon material, so it won't um, get soppy wet like the, the cloth one. So that's going to be my new laundry bag. It holds almost as much as the little pop-up hamper I was using. Maybe a little less, but that just means I should do laundry more often, which I've been wanting to do anyway. So I did take all my bedding and put it back in the um, twin mattress um, sheet, the twin fitted sheet. So I did go back, I did go back to the twin fitted sheet. I had stopped using it for a long time. So, and then um, there are a few hoodies here. They're just so thick and I don't have any room really. I want to be able to open the drawers without having to push down clothes. So these are, this is like outerwear. It's like five hoodies right there. So they're more of a medium weight. They're not a heavyweight. My big heavyweight hoodie stays in my, um, my big, um, excuse me, duffel that I use when I go get dressed in the gym because I usually sleep in that big hoodie the super thick one so that's it um, let me know if you have any questions or suggestions or what have you um, I also slid my car top carrier up a little bit I'm gonna see how that works I did use the metal um, zip ties that I had found and then I don't think I need the ratchet strap. That's just another precaution. I'm just so scared it's going to go flying off, but I really don't think it will. I um, I don't really get on the highway much anymore just because that's on there. But, yeah, I just have a feeling it's not going to go anywhere, but I just feel more secure with it on there. I do think I'm going to get a wider, longer ratchet strap uh, maybe this weekend if I find one. But other than that, it's all good. So let me know what you think. Hit me up on Facebook. Um, find me in the minivan dwelling group. It's full-time. It's minivan dwellers, full-time, part-time, and stealth. All right. Thanks, guys.